So hello and welcome back to another geological video and today we're at the Permian Backs Marsh Formation. So this is about uh, 290, 280 to 250 million years ago. Quite a long time. One of the few formations in Victoria that comes from the Permian period. Uh, so as you can see we have a, a large erratic. And the erratics here usually uh, granite, quartz, hornfells, sandstone, uh, porphyry, shirt, slate, up to 7 metres in diameter. Obviously that's probably only about 30 centimetres. Most of the erratics here are quite small. And this formation is quite weathered. So you can see over here, all this part of the formation is well weathered. And it's pretty much just looks like silstone at the moment. And if we look through the fence, you can see uh, this is more like uh, a siltstone with a large erratic, right? The large erratic. I'm uh, not going to focus. They're right in the center so obviously this is still glacial deposits so this formation does also have a uh, some sandstone probably at the time period where the glacier has retreated and there's just a river formation so a lot of the rocks have been rounded by glacial action probably also river action and that's basically the formation. So it's sold as a tillite sandstone, pebbly sandstone, mudstone, pebbly mudstone, conglomerates. Uh, shows in their positional faulting, soft sedimentary folding, sedimentary dikes. Uh, uh, plant fossils of Glossop Terrace at Bald Hills, obviously not here. And as you can see, you can't really get to the formation there. But if you walk around, a lot of conifers here. These trees are not native. No, uh, there's a eucalyptus. So you can see a lot of the sedimentary deposits, so a lot of quartz. And here's the erratic formation. Oh, Tillite. So this is where I saw it at this field. This is very weathered formation. The original material is a large rock of uh, siltstone. So when this area was deposited, it was sourced from various sources. So I'm not too sure the source where it was sourced. Uh, this looks like sandstone. And there's not many erratics in this part of the formation, so it depends on which part of the formation it is. So, mm, this looks more like siltstone. Oh, looks like a fresh exposure there. Uh, this part is weathered, you can see the weather lines in the actual rock. Actually, no, this feels like sandstone. Feels like sandstone. This must have been a, a quite an area that was uh, a bit away from the actual glacial deposits. And then we have some more glacial material down the bottom. And 
And as you can see, it's been quite folded uh, in this part. But I'm just starting to learn about the geological formations of this area, so I'm not too familiar. So you might think that that might be glacial till, but it looks like it's just been warped, weathered out. And yeah, this just looks like a sandstone formation. I don't see any laminations. It looks like a massive formation. Uh, probably because if there was a fresh exposure, it would be a lot easier to tell. It's about here. If you go down the road, you don't really see much of the formation. It's just here. And as you can see, the tree has probably lifted the actual formation up, so it's pretty much destroyed what it was. Anyway, so this is the Bacchus Marsh formation. Deposited at a time of glaciation in Victoria over 250 million years ago. And yeah, this is well weathered. And you can see it's actually coarse grained. So what? I don't have my hammer, so uh, this is the park, so I'm not going to actually damage the actual rock. But there's other places where you can check out the actual a marsh formation so a lot of this is not exposed in areas this is one of the better places to see the actual formation Australia doesn't have that much glacial deposits except for this, especially in Victoria, not like in North America where you have glacial deposits as recent as 10-12,000 years ago. So if you wanted to study glacial deposits you need to come to this formation. And that's about it. I'll probably do another part of this video to go over the actual formation itself. Okay, so where I did see the Bacchus Marsh formation, you can see around Greendale is a rectangular formation of uh, the Bacchus Marsh glacial teal. Most of this you won't be able to see there are road cuttings but a lot of it's quite eroded and weathered uh, so where you're probably more likely to see the best deposits is down at Pikes Reservoir so if you go into Pikes Reservoir uh, you can see just go down the road to right down to where that arrow is pointing north and you'll see a good deposit there where it's been cut for the actual building of the dam itself which is right there where the bridge where the actual cars go over and that is the best place you'll probably see this Permian deposit of uh, glacial formations now there is another one but it is obscured a bit and that is the Abacus Marsh.